So here's an explosive carry of Y insert, even though it doesn't really go as planned. So um, LSU shifted on what side of the line they called them. Sometimes they ran inserts towards the sign the tight end aligned. Sometimes they went across um, the center. But um, either way, they found a lot of success, a lot of value with this look. Back-to-back -back years, over a 70% success rate in SEC play. Very hard to beat that. So um, you're just picking a spot on the defensive line where you can win a quick battle. Um, you're getting a quick seal, a quick seal, and a little lead block. And it's a three-on-three -three assignment where you're gaining an advantage with your running back getting north and south. So a lot of the times they paired RPOs towards this concept. And... Um, even though it wasn't on this play, they usually had a slice concept, so a quick out and a vertical, which is what I have on the bottom of the screen here, and a glance post over top. So um, this time they don't have the glance post, but it looks like they still have the slice. Either way, we have a nice um, alley in our point of attack. But because of how um, it's late in the game, obviously this fell outside of our parameter, so... I literally only drew this up because it was an explosive carry. It's not the best job here from our left tackle. As opposed to being aggressive and going for that seal, he high walls and pass sets. Probably because, you know, he thought he was the backside guy. The backside guy, yeah, no problem high walling and fanning because you're just trying to get that as everyone creates their seals. But with him basically being in the backfield, it invites this rusher upfield who can kind of muddle our flow of that lead block and it's going to cause a little bit of a broken attempt before we bounce so again it's not the best execution but i wanted to draw it up because it was a um, explosive carry so you can see that high wall pass set not what you want you want to go freaking get him my man he's pass walling high setting um, because obviously that's going to get in the way of our lead blocker not the cleanest rep even though we get our seal he's undercut and we have to bounce back. But because everyone else does their job, we get a seal, we get a seal. We just slip through the green grass, and there we go. So pretty good job in that sense. But um, even when this blocking wasn't the best, it was hard to get this concept off the rails. Again, back-to-back -back years in SEC play with a success rate over 70%. And about a quarter of them wound up as explosive in 2020.